Hi, Liza Nishamkin here, Nishamkin Silver Studios. Today I'm going to talk to you briefly about um, how to transfer artwork onto your work surface, your sheet metal. Um, this is just a piece of copper, it's clean, it's mounted in the pitch. You can see um, a previous video about how to get your piece in the pitch. Um, everybody wants me to make videos, so now I'm gonna start doing that. So here's a photocopy, like toner, photocopy toner, copy of uh, just a random sample pattern. This could be very tiny, like a pair of earrings, or, or, what, or very, very large, it doesn't matter, the process is the same. This is just a toner photocopy, it cannot be inkjet ink. It's, it's um, soluble in acetone solid. So what we're gonna do is, metal's gotta be clean and dry, and you tape, you know, you, oh, I'm sorry. So you tape one edge down because you want to be able to do that. So the material you're going to need is your pattern, um, scissors to cut your pattern out, a pencil to mark the back of the design so you know where it is once you put it face down, and some masking tape, in this case it's just painter's tape, um, some paper towel, and some acetone, that's, oh, that's, and, your, and your metal, and your workpiece, mounted in the pitch. Mounted in the pitch first because once you've got your ink transferred on there, you don't want to then get pitch on it. So this is called just ink transfer or acetone transfer. I know this can be done with heat, but in this case, we're gonna do it like so. So I've got my pattern. Um, I cut it out longer than the pattern so that I have a place to tape it. You don't want the tape over the ink that you're trying to get to transfer onto your metal. I trace the back with where the design ends, like the top, the very widest point, and the very top point. It goes like that. And that's so I can eyeball center. Um, also, if your design is not symmetrical, you, and you want it facing a certain way, you take a mirror image photocopy of it, so that when you put it face down and transfer it, the transfer will be right side up. Um, not a mirror image. If the mirror image doesn't matter, then you can just photocopy it straight. So what I'm gonna do is, so we want this to, to be able to hinge like this, and this works for things that are flat or slightly domed. Once you have pieces that are very rounded, it can be very difficult. So I'm going to fold a piece of paper toweling up into a little pad. Uh, and I know if my cameraman is making everybody dizzy, but I apologize. So what you're gonna do is just put a little bit of acetone on here. It's not dripping wet, but it is soaked. Hold this down firmly and go in one direction. It's going to melt the ink, dissolve the ink, and it's gonna iron it right onto the metal. If you go over it and over it and over it, your ink is gonna melt and it's gonna bleed. If you mess it up, it doesn't matter. You can just wipe it right back off with the acetone. It'll come right off, see? and you can take another copy. Um, usually you can't use these twice and you can just reapply it. Um, if you get a little spot that doesn't quite come out, you can take a Sharpie marker or a scribe. Like here, I've just wiped off some ink. You can just take a Sharpie and kind of draw that spot in. You don't have to wipe the entire thing off. Um, make sure that you work in an area that has some ventilation and it's probably a good idea not to touch this with your fingers, although I did. What I like to do is if you don't have a flammable disposal area, you can run this under water and rinse out the solvent before you throw it in the trash so it won't um, stink up your work area and you don't really want to be breathing that stuff. And then you simply take your copy off and there's your pattern and you're ready to chase. And again, that works for any scale of work that is um, maybe slightly, slightly crowned or flat. There's other design transfer methods for um, work pieces that are round or compound curved. So that's it. Uh, the other thing is you do not want to get acetone in your pitch or on your pitch because it makes it gummy and tacky if you're not confident about that. Just put a rim of masking tape around it so you're, um, you stop out any possibility of acetone getting on there. So that's it, acetone ink transfer for chasing. Thanks for watching.